We left off in our last video talking about theater lighting, noting that, okay, you got some lights, you've cobbled together either a system that the venue had or you brought something in or you're going to. And so now you say, okay, now I know what tools are in my toolbox or at least what potential tools I could rent or borrow. So how do I use them? Great question. All right, so theater lighting angles and et cetera, 101. The first thing you got to do is light people from the front. May seem simple, right? The audience needs to see the people on stage, and this is honestly true for any type of lighting. Um, sometimes DJ lighting, you don't light the people. Sometimes in metal lighting, you keep it dim. But you pretty much always light the people on stage. So how are we going to do that? Well, the very basics of lighting is to create a wash with zones on the stage that can be generally, you know, 8 to 12 feet wide, though this can vary. And each of these zones, you just, you know, if, you, if you've got 64 foot wide stage, you do 8 foot, that's, you know, 8 of them. Um, you, you basically have two lights per zone coming from the front. These two lights come from 45 degrees up and out. And I have a video here on how to create an awesome even wash of stage light that goes through all of this stuff. Perfect. More detail there. The front wash is the real key. Now, people who have been around the theater for a long time who use like some really old school theater, um, you know, theory, the McCandless method, they like to do a warmer color from one side and a cooler color of light from the other side, mix them together. And in today's world, you know, that may or may not be necessary. It, it does work, um, but sometimes it causes more confusion than help. So let's just start with white. And so fixture wise, what light should you use? I would choose, you know, depending on your option. Um, I like PARs. I like Fresnels. I like ellipsoidals. Um, truth be told, if the thing makes light and can make a spot of light, you can use it. Um, traditionally, a lot of theater stage washes are done with Lico's or ellipsoidal type lights, but that's not to say you can't use another type of light. The biggest key is that Across your whole wash, you use the same type of light from about the same distance away at the same angles with the same spread, you know, beam spread in them and all that jazz. Same, 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 because that gives you a nice even wash of light. Once you've got that down, that's basically what I call the basic level. You can start to add in the extra stuff. Now, this is really going to vary based on your show. Some light from overhead or behind as backlight is always a nice touch, and you can even use colors, especially with color-changing LED lights. You can use colors there to add a little accent to the stage, but even before that, in a lot of shows, you'll want to light the backdrop. I really think of this as the number two, because once the people are lit, we want to be able to add color and maybe texture to that backdrop. So we'll put some lights there. Now backdrops can be lit in so many ways, especially with modern LEDs. You could put lights down on the floor and up light. You could have light coming down. Hey, look at this right here. You know, whoop. I can't point. Oh, it's this one. <laughs> you could have light coming down. You know, this one, this textured panel is being hit from a moving light that's actually near the camera. It's above the camera. And it's got a gobo in it, um, but you could use a conventional light or an ellipsoidal, even if it's an LED, and put a gobo in it, and that can look really cool against a textured set. Uh, once you've done that, you kind of get the basics down, like, okay, basic people lighting, basic set lighting, maybe some basic backlighting. Now focus, think about those specials, okay? And what are specials? Well, you've probably seen them in theatrical scripts, specials are a light that is designed to do, you know, basically for one spot, like a spotlight in a given spot for some special part where, oh, the two people are going to be close together right here. We want to isolate just them on the stage. That's often what a special is for. They could be out in the audience as well. And what we want to do with a special is um, first, the first thing you want to do is see, okay, could I put these people in one of my wash zones or use an existing backlight if I need a backlight special and use something that I'm already setting up as the special? Sometimes this will work, but if you want to be tight, you know, if you want it to be real nice and, and custom and tight and make a really big impact, you often aren't going to be able to do that. In which case, 
you want to go ahead and dedicate some specials. Now, if this is the only light or two that's on, let me tell you a little secret. It doesn't really matter what kind of light it is, as long as it points at the place, can be focused somewhat, and um, that it looks good. And so that's why I kind of put specials last, because I'd rather you go ahead, get that great front wash. If you have more of the same lights used for your front wash, use those for specials if it works. Then get that backlight, then get that set lighting, you know, set lighting first, then backlighting. And start to dial that, get the right lights in those places, and then, you know, for the special, it's only used for a little bit of time. Maybe you've got a moving light that looks nice that you could use for multiple specials. Usually on the community theater or free kind of inexpensive theater end, you're not going to find that. But that's really all you got to do. All right, guys, so that's really the basics of laying out lights for a theater show. There's a lot more, obviously, and we do go into that in my action plan which on theater lighting, which is called From, curtain, from Idea Until the Curtain Closes. It's available inside of Learn Stage Lighting Labs. But for now, as we're going through this, you know, don't think about that. Just come back next week or on the video below where I'm going to talk about what console should I use for theater lighting. All right, we will dive into that and get you that info next week, as long as you're subscribed. So be sure to do that, like this video, and we'll see you right next week.